Welcome into Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. My name is Harrison Graham. Coming up on today's show, we got some trade ideas involving the number 10 pick from the Athletic Five trade proposals. I like a couple of them. I hate a couple of them. So we'll react to them and give our thoughts here. But first, round of applause. We hit 22,000 subscribers, and I promise you guys we would chug a beer if we reached 22,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack it open and pour it into this Merbonga, this mermaid beer bong, because I can just chug faster through this. So pouring now. You guys can see me pour. I'm pouring the whole thing here. And uh, at the end of the show, we will uh, we will do the beard chug. So that'll give it time for the foam to kind of uh, dissipate there. And then uh, at the end of the video, we will uh, chug a beer. So if you want to witness that, stay tuned. We will do that later on. Okay, trade idea number one. And uh, this is one of the ones where I'm just like, uh, what? Chris Boucher and Otto Porter for Davis Bertans and number 10 pick? Why would the Mavericks do this? Like, I get you would get out of Breton's contract, but Chris Boucher is not a good enough player to justify moving the number 10 pick for him. He's just not. Like, if he was, if he built off of that 2020-2021 season and was now like a 16-point scorer and a 40% three-point shooter, that would be different because he's a versatile defender, but he's gotten worse offensively the past couple of years. Uh, and sure, he's lanky and he can shoot, but he hasn't shot that well the last couple of years, especially from three-point range. Like, that is not a trade I can get behind. It, it, it's just not uh, the bottom line uh, when it comes to Chris Boucher. I want to dump Davis Bertans as much as anybody, but I'm not getting rid of the number 10 pick to do it. Like, I got to get something in return that's valuable for the number 10 pick, and I just don't think Chris Boucher uh, is a good enough player uh, to trade the number 10 pick for. So at the end of the day, uh, I would not make this move. Otto Porter a couple of years ago played a nice role for the Golden State Warriors. I actually think they missed his veteran presence a bit this season, uh, but he was hurt this all uh, this entire past year for Toronto, only played in eight games. Uh, but, uh, you know, that would be a decent vet uh, to, uh, to add. But again, he's old and that doesn't move the needle much for me. Like if like, you could argue Bertans has more value than Porter. Now, Porter's deal is obviously cheaper, but you get the point on that one. I would say no to this trade. In fact, this trade is absolute garbage, if I'm being completely honest. Trade idea number two from The Athletic. Again, not our trades. We're reacting to these trades. This is a little bit better. OG Ananobi and Thad Young for Tim Hardaway Jr., Josh Green, and the number 10 pick. This is more in the range of something that I could get behind. Now, is it enough to land OG Ananobi? There was a report the trade deadline that they turned down three first-round picks. If that's true, one would lead to believe this isn't enough. But Josh Green could maybe fetch a first on the open market, so that's a first. Number 10 picks a first. Tim Hardaway, eh, I don't know if he fetches you a first, so maybe you're not quite there. Uh, but uh, this is certainly a better deal, uh, especially for Dallas uh, and I think more realistic-ish. Uh, for Toronto as well. Now, Ananobi, uh, the past four years, uh, has gotten a little bit better. Last couple of years have been similar, although he shot the ball better from downtown uh, this past season. 3 and D guy who can create a little bit offensively as well. Uh, I would certainly like to get a player like that. I think he can be a number three on a contending team. That's probably his ceiling. I don't think he can be a number two for a contender. Uh, but if you have Luka, Kyrie, and Ananobi's that number three, and then you get some other quality rotation guys, I think that could be a decent roster. Uh, but uh, remember, you'd be losing a couple of your key guys in this trade. Now, which trade idea with the Raptors do you prefer? If you're typing one, I mean, you must be Chris Boucher's dad or something because uh, I don't know how you could type one. Uh, Boucher and Porter uh, to Dallas there. And then trade number two, which is the much better one, you get Ananobi and Thad Young, who – brings experience and veteran leadership to a locker room in return for the number 10 pick, Josh Green and Tim Hardaway Jr. I'm typing my two. Let me know what you guys think. Trade idea number three from the athletic Clint Capella uh, in the number 15 pick for Tim Hardaway in the number 10 pick. I think I would do this in a heartbeat if I'm being uh, completely honest because you only move down five picks in the draft and you fill a bigger need on your roster. Sure, you need some wing help, but Tim Hardaway's not a great defender. Capello's a pretty good rim protector. He can roll and score around the basket. I've always liked his game. I think he would fit well uh, with Luka Doncic, and getting a pick back is pretty intriguing, uh, if we're being completely honest. Like, uh, the fact that uh, you would only have to move down five spots to swap Hardaway for Capella, I think that's a win. Uh, and, you know, maybe Atlanta would be open to it. Maybe they uh, would keep John Collins and play him more at the five moving forward. Who knows from their standpoint. But, uh, you know, Clint Capella has 
he's not a player that's still improving. He kind of is what he is. He's going to get you, you know, probably 11 to 14 points and grab 11 to 13 rebounds. Uh, but he knows who he is. He doesn't <laughs> try to be someone he's not. He's not taking crazy shots or anything. He can defend at a decent clip block shots, and uh, score around the basket. So I think the Mavs could use a center like that. Uh, and this would be the best pure center the Mavs have had since Tyson Chandler. Now, that probably says more about the Mavs the last decade and the inability to get a true five. Uh, but Capella's a good player. Uh, they tried to sign him a f several years back when he re-signed with the Rockets. Uh, that didn't work out then, but maybe you get him now. I would certainly be intrigued. Now, some draft targets with that number 15 pick if they move down a few spots. Derek Lively from Duke. He could be interesting, but if you're getting Capella, would you draft another center? I'm not sure. Keontae George, I would love that at 15. Casein Wallace as well. Kobe Bufkin, who's been getting some uh, draft buzz, and Jet Howard, a couple of guys that have been linked to the Mavs, so keep those names in mind. Uh, if I look at this list, Wallace and George are two players I would really like to get with that 15th selection. How about another trade idea with the Hawks to move down from 10 to 15? Mavericks get DeAndre Hunter, former lottery pick, in the 15th pick for Josh Green, Davis Bertans, and the number 10 pick. I kind of like this one as well. You know, Josh Green would be a bit of a tough loss, but I think Hunter is actually a better player. Uh, and, uh, you know, you dump Breton's contract to just move down five spots. Uh, Hunter, you know, producer Coop put this note down. I don't completely agree with it. Uh, I will agree in the sense that Hunter hasn't probably quite been as good as I thought he would be in the NBA. But I think part of that has just been fit. And, you know, Trey Young is so kind of ball dominant. And they picked up DeJounte Murray. When you're a third, fourth, fifth option, they, they've had Capella and Collins as well. He's kind of just been buried there. He's a good 3 and D player, though. Now, one area I will say is he is not shot – from three what I thought he would in the NBA. I thought he'd be a 38 to 40% three-point shooter, and the closest he got to that was two years ago when he shot 37.9%. Uh, but maybe playing with a guy like Luka in more of a catch-and-shoot situation, he could uh, shoot at a higher clip. But he's a uh, good defender, versatile, 6'8". Uh, you don't find those guys all over the place, and he's still young. I would like this trade. I really would. Hunter's a win-now piece. I think he's an upgrade from green, and you still only move down five picks in the draft. I would probably do that if I was Dallas. Uh, now, today's show uh, is sponsored by BetUS, but we'll get to that in a second. First, I want to ask you guys, which Hawk would you rather trade for? Type CC for Clint Capella, DH for DeAndre Hunter. Let me know in the comments section. Shout out to BetUS uh, for sponsoring today's show. If you guys want to go bet on the NBA Finals, there is still time. Game three uh, is tomorrow night. Chatsports.com slash MFFL. Promo code MFFL to get 125% deposit bonus. Nuggets just two and a half point favorites now that they're going on the road after losing game two. Total over under 214.5. I've nailed both games, by the way. Game one, I said the Nuggets would cover and the under would hit. Game two, I said the Heat would cover and the over would hit. So I'm, I'm four for four so far. I'll, we'll see if Harry Betts continues here. I think Denver wins a tight one. They do cover the two and a half. I'll say they win by like four to five. And I like the under again. I think this game is like 108, 104, something like that uh, in Miami. So that's what I'll go with in game three. I think Denver wins game three. Miami wins game four. We go back to Denver 2-2. Should be an interesting finish to the series. Chatsports.com slash MFFL, promo code MFFL. Final trade here from The Athletic and another one that I really don't understand. We started with one I didn't like. We end with one I don't like. Number 10 pick in Bertans for Royce O'Neal and Patty Mills. I know Royce O'Neal went for a first-round pick last year, and he actually played better than he did the year before, but I still just like, is this enough to like justify the number 10 pick? Sure, Patty Mills is a vet who can shoot the ball decently as well, but I just, I don't know, man. I, Producer Coop makes a good note here, and I agree with it. Like, number 10 pick to just get a worse Dorian Fitty Smith. I don't know if I'm doing that. Like I, I, I just I, I think you can do better with that selection. It's not the worst trade of all time. Like it's better than the first one, but not by much. Like if that's the trade that's on the table, I would rather just draft a player at number ten and, and develop said player. So, but that's just me. Maybe you guys disagree. Name a player that you think the Mavs should trade the number ten pick for. Shout him out in the comments down below and let us know what you guys think. All right, my name's Harrison Graham. That's gonna do it. But first. It's beer chug time. Here we go. Let's take this bad boy down. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Shout out to the Kai Soto crowd who uh, got us some new subs. Here we go. Straight down the hatch. Once I give the thumbs up, Rolly, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Here we go. Type chug in the comments. <laughs> 